Good day. Welcome to Partakers Friday Prayers on Friday 23rd of September 2011. Let's pray together. Father, as we commence, let our hearts and minds be right before you. We thank you for your Son, Jesus, and it's in his name we offer you these praises, prayers and petitions in the power of the Holy Spirit who lives inside those who are your children. Amen. We start with a time for you to offer your own praises to God. If for some reason words are failing you, simply say this, Lord God, I lift up thanks and praise to you alone. Let's praise God together. Hallelujah. Father, accept these praises as sweet-smelling perfume. Amen. Let's now have a psalm of praise. It's Psalm 100. Our reader today is Jenny. So over to you, Jenny. Psalm 100. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, and praise his name. For the Lord is good, and his love endures for ever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Thanks, Jenny. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ has risen. The Spirit has come. All to the praise of the Father. Amen. Now there will be a short time of prayer where you can give to God things that are on your own mind and heart. And if, for some reason, words are failing you, then pray this short prayer based on Psalm 40. O oh God, help and deliver me from this pit for I am poor and needy. Let's continue praying. Father, we pray that your love will take over our lives. We also pray that we would follow you faithfully, live lives obedient to you, and give praise to you alone in all circumstances we face. Lord, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children. Amen. We now pray for church services around the world this weekend. Our Father God, we lift before you all those who are preaching, leading, serving and participating in church services around the world this weekend, both up front and in the congregation. We ask that the Holy Spirit would guide their minds and that the worship would be in spirit and in truth and that your word is faithfully preached. For those in countries where to meet other Christians is illegal or not condoned by the government, we ask that you continue to strengthen, guide, uplift and grow them. Let them know through your spirit 
the spirit that lives within all believers, that we are praying for them. Amen. May justice and peace come to places where injustice, strife and conflict currently dominate. Where there is chaos, Father, bring order. Where there is hatred, O oh God, may love be sown. We pray, O oh Lord, that in areas of need following natural disasters, that aid will get through and infrastructure rebuilt. Now, Father, we lift before you all those facing challenging situations, such as loneliness, confinement at home, geographical isolation, lack of employment, health issues and financial pressures. O oh God, please meet their needs in whatever challenging situation is being faced, and we put ourselves in your hands to help meet those needs where we can. We come now to pray for this world. Father God, we lift this world to you, a world which is crying out for its redemption. Help those in positions of power to govern with justice, mercy and wisdom. And remind them, O oh God, that they are only in position of power because you allow them to be. Our Father, be the strength for all those who are grieving and mourning the loss of loved ones. O oh God, we pray that those in despair will be helped, and where there is darkness, there will be light. Lord, in your great mercy, hear these prayers of your children. Amen. And now as we close, here is a prayer based on Hebrews chapter 13, verses 20 to 21. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant, brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will, and may he work in us what is pleasing to him, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Bartaker's Friday Prayers. See you again real soon.